Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Creative Hands by Shea. So today I am here with another video, and this time I'll be showing you how to make this cute little bow here. So these bow can be used into any little project that uh, you have uh, doing. Uh, so I'll be showing you how to make this today. So guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome, and to my regular viewers and subscribers, thank you so much, guys. So let's jump in the video. So guys, to make this bow, I will be using a 3.0 millimeter crochet hook. Uh, the bigger hook you use, the bigger bow you get, or the bigger yarn you use, the bigger bow you will get also. So this yarn that I'm using is a size 3 yarn, and uh, you can use any little scrap yarn to make your bows because it doesn't take a lot of yarn. So to begin, you will make a magic ring. So wrap it around your fingers. You can wrap it around three fingers or two fingers, depending on how big you want your loop to be. And you can just pull that down for a little bit. You're going to insert your hook, pull up a loop. Once you have pull up a loop, you're going to pull up on the loop here. And you are going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And this first uh, chain four here counts as our first treble crochet. You're going to wrap your yarn around your hook twice. So one and two. You're going to insert your hook into the circle. You're going to pull up a loop. You're going to yarn over. You're going to pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the next two. And that gives you a treble crochet. You're going to yeah, wrap, wrap your yarn around your hook again twice. Go into the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the next two. Sorry, let me just redo that. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two. And that is three um, treble crochet there. You're going to do it again. You're going to make a total of um, seven treble crochet, starting with this one here. So just repeat the same steps. And I'm going to continue doing this until I get to my seventh uh, stitch or treble crochet and I'll meet back up with you. So now I have come to my seventh um, treble crochet here. Now I'm going to chain up four. One, two, three, and four. And that completes our first side for the bow there. And I'm just going to make a slip stitch. Now you make now after you make your slip stitch, you are going to go ahead, chain up four again. One, two, three, four. And at this time you can pull on to the string here just to close the hold up a little bit. So you have more leverage in making the other side. Now you are going to wrap your yarn twice and you're going to repeat the same thing that you just did on the first side there. Making your treble crochets, and you're going to do the same exact amount. So, remember, we did seven. Sorry, let me just redo that. So, we're going to make seven on this side and then chain four. So I'm going to continue doing that and I'll see you there. So now I have made my seven treble crochet here. I'm going to chain up five, one, sorry, I'm saying five, but four, two, three, and four. And I'm going to Pull down onto my yarn like that just to give the whole, um, getting the whole close up a little bit. 
and then I am going to slip stitch. So now that you have slip stitch, I'm just going to pull up a little bit onto my yarn. And there you can see the bow is forming. Now you are going to get your string and And you're going to pull that to close the hole up. And there it is. So your bow is completed. And you're going to tight down, pull down, and pull up. Make sure that you have a long enough tail to wrap over your bow here. So I'm just going to cut it here. Pull that through and there it is so now that we have done so we are going to go from the back and you can pull on this to make sure that it's closed nicely and we are going to wrap our bow nicely and firm There it is. Now we are going to go to the back and you're going to get your hook and you're going to insert it into the wrap and you're going to pick up your yarn here and you're going to pull it through. Now that you have done so, now you're going to go ahead and give it a tie. And you're going to give it another tie to secure it. And there it is, our bow is completed. So you can cut uh, one of the strings off and if you want to use the same string here or yarn here to um sew down your bow you can leave it there to do so later on or if you want to cut it off you can cut it off as well so there it is guys the bow is now completed so i hope that you like this tutorial and i hope that you will be able to make one of your own so thanks again for watching until next time bye